Well, Roma Downey is back with us, teaching us lessons from her biography and her devotional life. She's compiled it all in Box of Butterflies. Roma, I want to go to the story of the family that works together, stays together. You take your youngest son, Cameron, you and Mark, to the filming of AD. He's going to learn how to be, you know, a crew hand, a camera operator, all of those things. But he gets sick. Tell us about what begins to happen on what should have been a life-giving trip. Uh, yeah, our, our youngest son has a great desire to be in the film industry and he's very talented. And we took him with us to film AD, The Bible Continues. We were shooting in Morocco and, um, and he, got, uh, he got sick over there. And at first we just thought maybe it was the food, you know, because sometimes when you're traveling an exotic uh, climate, they're, you know, the food cuisine is a little different. But uh, it's, it soon became apparent that he had a, um, he was much, much sicker. He had a tumor uh, in his pituitary and uh, we had to medically evacuate and to get him home. And to tell you it was our darkest day would be maybe an understatement. We were, we were brought to our knees with worry and, um, and we didn't know what the outcome would be. And we just prayed it in. We asked everybody we knew to pray with us. And we really um, were so grateful that Cameron made a full recovery and he's, um, and he's back at the career that he wants to be doing. So we really were taken on this journey of, of, of uh, you know, great, a great challenging journey. And if it hadn't been for our faith, Lorna, I don't know how we would have gotten through it. But you activated something in your faith in this story. You, you were so frightened for his survival, you called out for prayer we in did. a very public way. Yes. Tell us about reaching out for help. You look, you're the couple that looks like you've got everything, yes. but you needed everyone. We did, well, we would have given everything that we have if it meant having our son fully restored to us at that time. And we, I think what became apparent was the helplessness that we felt. And in that helplessness, all that was left was to hand it over to God and say, you know, whatever your, your will, whatever your plan for our boy is, then of course that's what needs to happen. But we just beseech you that you will be merciful and that you will grant a miracle and that you will heal and restore him. And of course, with God, all things are possible. And, um, and we will be eternally grateful that he was restored to us and that our particular story had a happy ending. And you would say to those of us in that kind of struggle right now? I would you? say, just trust God. You know, he has a plan for your life or a plan for your loved one's life. And, you know, while it is our nature to try to get in there to do everything we can, and we must, I mean, we, we reached out, we got the best doctors, we took action as best we could. But then there's a moment where we just have to say, you know, Jesus, we give this to you. And um, please, you know, hold this for us. And of course, he always does. All right, Roma Downey, thank you for sharing your very personal stories and how you brought them to Jesus. We'll uh, let you know how you can get your copy of Box of Butterflies.